Good morning and happy Thursday to you all. Um, our text from last Sunday's epistle was from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, uh, verses 12 and uh, 13 is what I'll be reading to you. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. If for in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jew or Greek, slave or free, we all were made to drink of one spirit. Um, you have to remember when Paul's talking to the church in Corinth that the church is in conflict. It is not doing well. It is an unhealthy church in every way possible. And so these words that Paul gives us is because the church is messing up, doing wrong. They are, in fact, uh, having categories of people and treating certain people better than others, and free and Greek, and uh, free and slave, and uh, all that stuff. That you just have hierarchies in the church, which is a terrible, terrible thing. Um, they have the opposite of concord. They have disunity. Um, but even though in the church, and I think for the most part we're pretty good at this right now, we as people understand this disunity this because we are feeling it in our society. Our society is this is full of disunion right now. Us versus them. Whoever the us and the, whoever the them is, which I'm not sure, um, is out there for us. And so we're struggling with it. But you can see if it's corrosive and destructive to our society. And it is. You'll see it's also twice as corrosive and right, twice as destructive to the church. Uh, the church is a place where it really should be old and young and every nationality and race and things of that nature. And, uh, pe wealthy people and poor people and everything in between. That's what a healthy church looks like. And there's very few of those actually in the world. Uh, and when you come across them, it is a special thing. But we are trying. And we're definitely not holding a, sh a uh, shingle out saying, do not come in. Um. Yeah, I was going to talk about back, oh, 15 years ago, the Methodist Church had a famous uh, national ad campaign with that. And um, it's quite interesting um, how other churches responded to that ad. It was not good, to say the least. I think they regretted it. And I know the ministerium did because I talked to them about it and they said it was wrong. Uh, no church has a bouncer at its door saying, you can't come in. No matter if you're the most conservative or the most liberal, the most high church, low church, biblical or not so biblical, churches don't do that. But I want to give you a, a positive example. Uh, when I was a seminarian, you were issued a fieldwork church. Mine was in Orchard Farms. And um, it was a small country church. <laughs> I already should have known that the Lord has prepared me for country work. Um, but uh, in this church, uh, you know everyone, and it's a very, very healthy church at the time. And we were having communion, and I was helping the minister uh, with communion. And we had one final table left, as, as and it's a table of only three people. That was all that was left. And it was a very interesting table because the one fellow that was there, he had to be six foot four, six foot five, very fancy suit, bow tie. He looked like he just came out of the Republican National Convention. He just was a proper Southern, looked like a lawyer to me. I don't know what he did, but you get the idea. And the two other was a young couple who was just married about a year. I think they were living the van life before there was a thing called a van life, if you know what that means. Uh, and in the midst of all, and they both had uh, tattoos, uh, arm to arms, full sleeves. And uh, they looked... Um, Nice enough. I mean, they weren't uh, wearing painting clothes or anything like that, but uh, nothing like that, gentlemen. And they were receiving communion together at the altar of the Lord. And what struck me as a young seminarian was the unity I was seeing, not disunity, uh, that they were together, uh, probably neither in social events or in society or in the world, but in the congregation, they were brothers and sisters, equals, and part of the body of Christ. And um, all very active in the church in their own ways. So that is the healthy church. And it's around. And God willing, uh, here at Peace, where I'm a pastor, 
we're healthy as well in this matter. All are welcome. Dear Lord, watch over us, keep us safe, especially from the, from the pandemic, and create peace and harmony not only within our church, but within our communities. In Jesus' name, amen.